You're watching In View, and I'm Larry King. According to top economists, we may soon experience the greatest devaluation of the U.S. dollar this country has ever known. Today, we'll look at state and local banks across the nation that are determined to make a positive impact on the economic future of their communities. Being human. In today's hyper-technical, cold, and often calloused world of robot fast food workers, relationship-destroying devices, and social media, being treated as anything other than a number or a virtual entity is becoming more rare by the moment. We're not machines, we are human. And as such, we've been created with a need for personal relationships. Our families, our businesses, our connections with our fellow humans are dependent on them. Even in this age of multinational, Wall Street controlled, bottom line motivated conglomerates and foreign owned institutions, those businesses that make us feel a personal connection, that give us a human touch, are the ones most Americans prefer to do business with. Well, my husband and I have lived here in this area for almost 30 years. And we have trusted Bank South as our bank for many years. And my husband's a local business owner here. So he relies on Bank South to help him grow his business, to keep him competitive, and just to keep him serving the community. In addition to being treated as a person and not just another number, there's a growing trend among many Americans to move their financial business into a local, community-owned and operated financial institution and away from those too big to fail, largely foreign-owned and operated megabanks. What I like about the, about the, the community bank concept is that it's real people that you can talk to and relate to and that uh, there are no secrets, there are no committees, and you know, this, the, the whole process is much more open. I mean, I'm always apprehensive about borrowing money, but um, even more so with the, with the large banks, just because you don't really know if they're listening to you when you talk to them. Um, you know, it's everything is, everything is distant, everything is, uh, there's other people involved that you never meet that are making the decisions. What many Americans are not aware of is the behind the scenes war being waged on independent local financial institutions and small businesses via regulations imposed from federal agencies. There may be some debate, but it's not really reasonable. When a lot of the rules have been implemented, they will say these are for the larger institutions, they don't apply. But by the time the regulators are trained and additional guidance goes out, there is very little, if, if any, difference between what the smaller banks are faced to deal with and what, than what the larger institutions are. Doesn't matter that they have a set of problems or concerns different than what community banks have. It is the one size generally fits all, and it doesn't really translate well. Community banker will, knows their customer, knows what challenges they face, knows what attributes, knows what they also bring to the table. And they are looking for that long-term relationship. They're looking character still matters to a community bank. The big boys hate competition. And as such, the locally owned community banks of our country are held to the same regulatory burdens as those mega banks with tens of thousands of employees and billions and even sometimes trillions of dollars in assets. The result is often an overwhelming financial burden on our nation's community banks that forces some to close their doors or compromise their integrity. The founders of our nation knew that the power the key to a successful republic of sovereign yet united independent states was within the people and the states themselves. In this era of substantial economic instability and erosion of our nation's middle class, many more Americans each day are discovering for themselves what the community bank owners across the land already knew. The answer to our economic future and even the survival of our country lies in keeping our hard-earned money local.
if in fact the people who are writing the rules intend to hurt to help certain groups of people, they are the effect is opposite. And they have burdened the consumer so much, and they may think they're burdening the bank, and it is a burden, but we'll handle it some kind of way. We'll be very frustrated. It'll be a greater challenge to give good customer service. We will frustrate customers we otherwise shouldn't have frustrated. But somehow we will try to get it done until they finally do break our backs, which I get can happen. But in the meantime, who is suffering are the people that they profess to be wanting to help. Bank South was formed soon after the end of World War II in 1946. It was formed by a group of local businessmen who had, a, who had the, an idea and a belief that the uh, community needed to grow and prosper. And to do that, they needed a strong community bank made up of local business people and those others who shared their vision for the community. Well, I started the company in 2008 as Loan South Mortgage. And in February of 2011, we aligned with Bank South Mortgage, which you know, has, has allowed us to grow and you know we've grown to seven locations, 150 employees. We're originating 750 million annually in mortgage residential mortgage loans. Well, without sounding like a cliche, I mean it really is heartwarming to see the difference that we make in our community with lending. Uh, we're a very approachable company. We provide 100% financing, which is actually afforded to the, the mortgage company because of our relationship with the community bank. Being aligned with a community bank like Bank South has really made a difference in the world of our loan officers. To learn more about forming a personal relationship at Bank South, visit their website at www.banksouth.com or call them at 706-453-2943.